All right, thanks for watching, and today we'll go one step further and solve variable coefficients, constant, like variable coefficient first order uh, linear PDE. And the cool thing is, even though this might look harder than the previous example, this one's actually, well, it's similar actually, because the ideas are the same. So, notice yet again, this equation, x u x plus y u y equals zero, you can write this as a dot product. This is the same thing as saying x comma y, comma y, or I guess maybe let me write it this way, u x comma u y dotted with x y equals zero. And again, you can recognize this as the gradient. So gradient of u dotted with this vector v equals zero. So in this case, what we have, the directional derivative of u along v is still zero. The only problem is this time v, it's a vector. I'm sorry, this time v, it's not a constant vector anymore, but it depends on the position. So v maybe looks like that. Here v, it goes x directions on the right and y directions on, uh, on top, okay? And really here it's kind of the same idea. So before what we noticed was u is constant along lines with slope, you know, three over two or something. Here what we get is that u is not constant on lines, but this time is constant on curves. Let's say curves y equals y of x, with which characteristic? That their tangent vector is v. So if this is v is x, y, then basically the function u, what it becomes, it's constant on those curves whose tangent vector is x comma y. So really what you're trying to find are basically, again, curves whose slope vector is x comma y. So what we want to find, so go, find curves such that the following is true. On the one hand, what is the slope of the tangent line on this curve? Well, by, def by you know, calculus, the slope should be the derivative. So dy over dx. On the other hand, what is the slope of this curve? We said that the slope is v. And, I mean, sorry, we said that the tangent vector is v. And because we're in two dimensions, the slope is actually easy to define. It's just a rise over run. So here the slope should be y over x. In other words, what we want to find, we want to find curves such that dy over dx equals y over x. And the cool thing is from that, we can actually solve for y. So we actually get a differential equation, which we can solve using, in this case, you know, the separation of variables technique. So let's do that. So let's cross multiply. So x dy equals y dx. Divide by y here, divide by x. So dy over y equals dx over x. And then integrate. Again, really cool. Uh, cool and non-rigorous, you know, <laughs> uh, differential equations techniques. And then what we get is ln of absolute value of y equals ln of uh, absolute value of x plus a constant, and then exponentiate if you want. So basically what we get, absolute value of y is e ln of absolute value of x plus a constant, and then uh, that becomes e to the c, e to the ln of absolute value of x, and that's e to the c and absolute value of x. And then what we get is, you know, absolute value of y equals e to the c absolute value of x. So y equals plus or minus e to the c x 
And again, we can rename this constant, why not? So y equals to cx. In other words, what's happening here is that y is still constant on lines, but, sorry, u is still constant on lines, but it seems at this time, the uh, constant is the slope. So what we get is u is like constant on this line, maybe constant on this line. So we have this nice foliation, if you want, of the plane. So that might be, you know, cx, maybe x, that might be 2x, that might be minus x, whatever. And um, in particular, what we have, we still have the same issue, right? Can we find some constant or some variable which characterizes each line? Because what we know, and if you want, I can show this in a second, uh, is that u is constant on each line. And so in particular, we want to say, well, question mark equals this line, question mark equals this line, etc., etc. But here it's not too bad because just like last time, we can just solve for the constant. So the constant is just y over x. And that becomes a variable question mark, and then what is the solution? Well, again, the solution is characterized by being constant on each line, so really the answer is any function of this variable y over x. So just like last time, the solution is just u of x, y, it's f of question mark, and that's f of y over x. And probably something more if x is 0 or something. But I think here it's OK. Because I think if x is 0, then we just get y, u, u y equals 0. And you can solve this. But again, just to convince you that this actually works. So uh, or maybe let me do it in general. So y is u of this curve constant. Actually, let me do both things. So first of all, let me show you that in fact, ux ux plus y uy equals zero. So in fact, let's calculate this. So x ux, so again, Shen Lu with respect to x, you get f prime of y over x, and then minus y over x squared, because you're differentiating with respect to x plus y f prime of y over x. Now you're differentiating with respect to y, so 1 over x. And then essentially we get this simplification. Notice this square here cancels out with this x, and we get minus y over x times f prime, and here plus y over x times f prime. So magically it cancels out. But again, it's not magic, it's directional derivatives. And lastly, let me maybe show you why this e magic trick works with this being constant on the curves. So basically, I'm claiming that if you have this curve, y equals y of x, then u of on this curve is constant. So let's claim that u of x comma y of x uh, equals constant. In other words, let's just differentiate this with respect to x. So d over dx, u of x, y of x. Yeah, there is a little bit of abuse of notation, but not too much. So that becomes ux plus uy, and then the derivative of this dy over dx. But remember, we assumed uh, dy over dx to be the slope of v. So this is just the same thing as saying ux plus uy y times y over x. And if you want to put this on a common de denominator, you get 1 over x and then uh, sorry, x ux plus y uy. And by the PDE, this is zero. So indeed, our wishful thinking isn't that wishful after all. 
it actually makes sense that u is constant of the curves. And again, the real thing that made this work is this thing, that we assume dy over dx is the same as the slope of our vectors. All right, I hope you like this first order PDE extravaganza. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.